Hang on, let me start over. <coughs> oh gosh, that scared me. <coughs> oh no, it's dripping all the way down my leg. It's all between the cracks. <coughs> How's your balloon for that? I feel just like a sailboat I don't know where I'm headed But you can't make the wind Hey, Blair. Hi. <laughs> How's your day? Good. I like this L.L. Bean shirt you got there. I know, me too. It's warm. Is it comfy? Mm -hmm. I should have four more of them in my closet. Four? Why four? One of every color. Oh. One of every color. Hello, adventurers, and welcome to our... Oh, we had quite a busy few days. Yeah. We went from Buffalo, New York, down to Pittsburgh, over to Ohio, back to Pittsburgh, down to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, via the Flight 93 Memorial, then to Leesburg, Virginia, mm -hmm. then to Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Leesburg, um, wedding, yeah. down to Charlottesville, Virginia, Lexington, Virginia, Anderson, South Carolina. Upstate of South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. So quite a busy trip. We didn't tour all those places. We just drove through most of them because mm -hmm. we have been there previously. But, but uh, a lot of driving, kind of unintended. We, yeah. we didn't intend on doing that. But uh, due to timing and everything else, it was what we did. Yep. Quick stops. Yes. So in Pittsburgh, west of Pittsburgh, out west by the airport, Pittsburgh, near we, Clinton. Yeah, we stayed at a harvest host. It mm -hmm. was called Janoski Farm and Market. Yes. They also have a greenhouse. A bunch of greenhouses. Yes. And a farm and a pumpkin patch. And donkeys and turkeys donkeys. and chickens. Yeah. And all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. The farm store was pretty neat. We walked up there and walked yeah. through the store. Not unlike some farm stores you've been to before, but anything and everything you could want. All the and things. More. <laughs> All the things. Yeah. Huge farm store. Yes. Back in the back, they have a pavilion and a little banquet hall, I would call it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's a right space. Yeah, it's right by a pond, which is on the other side of a corn maze. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were the first harvest host to check in, so we got to pick up the spots, and we picked the spot right by the water, which yes. was gorgeous. Yeah, that was good. So we got to hang out there for, for a couple of days mm -hmm. and thoroughly enjoyed our time there, thoroughly enjoyed the folks. We went up to the to the building, and they have a wine. They have a wine. wine free wine tastings. You can yes. taste anything you want to try, so it was mm -hmm. really nice. Uh, the lady was very chatty. and yeah, yeah, she had just gotten back from Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. yeah. So we were reminiscing about our time in New England with her. Yes. <laughs> so Blair has sampled the chocolate. I sample them because I, if you like it better than me, I want you to be able to have a bite. So Blair's brother-in-law, Justin, is a tremendous Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yes, his entire so, family. <laughs> yes. Born and bred. So we lived vicariously through them and went yeah. to the Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium from this uh, Harvest Host stop. Yeah, the Heinz Field, which is only going to be called the Heinz Field through the end of this year. Oh, yeah? Unless, I guess, they purchase it again. It okay. had 20-year naming rights. Mm. It's supposed to be from 1999 through 2020, 2000 through 2020. But they extended? Because of um, quarantine and oh. shutdown, they've extended it a year. So we'll see. So the Heinz ketchup bottles that are on top of the school board there, <laughs> we found out how big they were. They, they are as big as our airstream. Yes. Which is pretty neat. Which is crazy thirty feet long and nine feet nine wide. Nine feet wide. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We got to walk out onto the field, onto the sideline, mm -hmm. and then we just toured through the the okay. main the thoroughfare, the bowels of the, of the stadium. stadium. Yeah. 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 Uh, not as in depth as some stadium tours we've been on, but still pretty neat to go out there and see the field. Yeah. Aside I'd, from the field, most of the tour you can see if you are at a game, at a game. Yeah. but 
knowing that there's not tens of thousands of other fans around you, it makes it a little more personal. Yes, for sure. This, if you are a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, oh. go to the store. They have everything you could imagine and more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we left the Pittsburgh Stadium, we drove over to a deli. Yeah, the from. Pramanti? Pramanti Brothers? Pramanti Brothers. They started out in Pittsburgh um, at one specific location, and now they've kind of spread around the Pittsburgh area. Heaps of meat on a sandwich. Oh, my gosh. As big as my whole head. Yes. The sandwich was. Yes. And it came on thick. Like Texas toast. Texas toast, rye, yeah. bread. I don't remember what it was. Huge. Yes. Like... My hand wasn't even big enough to cover the bread, and the sandwich was like this big. It was literally like the size of my face. It was huge. huge. Yeah, it was good though. It was good. And then right next yes. to that is the something plate glass company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was called. Plexiglass plate glass. No, plate glass. You, it's one block behind the Permini Brothers, Permani Brothers restaurant is every window, every building is just mm -hmm. glass. Yeah. It was quite, quite beautiful. It's gorgeous. We are at the Senator John Hines History Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It is devoted to the history and heritage of Western Pennsylvania and is the largest history museum in the state. First stop on the tour, you need your sticker. In this museum are plenty of old cars and rail cars fire trucks, horse and buggies, plenty of innovation that has been inspired by or created in Western Pennsylvania. It was a really neat place to walk through. I enjoyed walking through all the exhibits and seeing them all, learning to reading them all. <laughs> they are like, she could jump nice. And go to some Pittsburgh stealing footballs. And then she kicked my butt in air hockey. We did pretty good at a little beanbag toss game. Yeah. But all in all, it was a very good visit. And it wouldn't be the Heinz Center without the history of Heinz 57 ketchup and all the other products. I had no idea at the variety of products that they made. They have a display there with all of the types of ketchup bottles made since it was beginning. And then was one of my favorite things, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. They had pieces from the studio set up there from Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. This was a childhood favorite of mine. We actually got to see it on TV today, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Nice little memory, uh, walk down memory lane. And having just seen the museum, it was actually um, very nostalgic. Very cool. And then Blair drove a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably my favorite part. It was? Yeah. This <laughs> the next morning, it had rained pretty hard. We, mm -hmm. we drove, drove over to Canton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Went to visit some family friends. Leslie, thank you for your time that day. And uh, Mark and Leslie, thanks for lunch. It was a great time over in Canton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. We had such a wonderful visit and um, look forward to seeing you guys again yeah. soon. And by, can by about five minutes from their house in Canton is the NFL Hall of Fame. NFL Hall of Fame. We went to the Huge. NFL Hall of Fame. We went into the store. We did not mm -hmm. tour the NFL Hall of Fame while we were there. We just we went to the place. Yeah, peeked in. It's not what I would have expected for the NFL Hall of Fame. That said, they are spending a ton of money yes. to upgrade that whole area right there. Yeah. So they've bought up a bunch of land and done a number of things to get that area better. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll go back at some point, but it yeah, didn't. The interesting thing is they're going to have a traumatic brain. Oh yes. That's um, Institute to that's, study TBIs yeah, yes, and yes. head injuries and concussions. I and, think that's huge. And have their recovery center there as well. I think that's huge. Yeah. PT. Yeah. Sign and it said slow, um, animal crossing, wildlife crossing. And so I originally thought, does that mean slow comma? 
wildlife crossing or does it mean slow wildlife crossing? And then I thought of a turtle and I thought, well, I didn't know that people really ate turtle soup. Where was turtle soup at? Oh, at that restaurant yesterday? Yeah, at lunch. I had turtle soup many times. I don't think I've ever considered it. From there, we drove over to... We drove south. South, not over, yes, yeah, south. Yeah. And it was stormy like nobody's business. Yeah. And they're doing a bunch of construction on that highway, so it was super narrow lanes, barriers on both sides, mm -hmm. trucks going everywhere. You can't see anything because of the rain. Terrible weather. I don't think Blair looked up from her lap <laughs> for, for, for the entire trip until we I pulled off the highway. I do so much better if I'm distracted, and so I'll keep myself busy in the passenger seat. Otherwise, yes. I'm gripping the side yes. rails and, the, and gra gasping and making me nervous and the ocean handle <laughs> and <laughs> trying to suck the rv in a yes. couple inches i get so nervous uh, yes oh uh but we drove down to the flight 93 memorial mm -hmm. um those of you who remember september 11th those of you who were a part of that day and remember watching on tv the, the horrors and things going on in our and uh, new york city and in the capital at the Pentagon, we were all worried about that plane landing. Where was it going to go crash? And it crashed into a middle of nowhere field yeah. in, in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And like the 9-11 memorial where the World Trade Centers were, it is a sombering... Mm -hmm. I don't even know the words there, to say. There are no words. There really aren't. It's humbling and emotionally what, exhausting yes and what they have done there is yeah. you can't take pictures or video inside which mm -hmm. is I, I believe the right answer mm -hmm. but you walk you walk through the day the news is playing and it shows you know we're going to interrupt this broadcast and they go through the kind of timeline we're there mm -hmm. and you go around to the other side and they show the pe passengers who were sitting where they were sitting mm -hmm. on the plane where they boarded the plane the timeline of everything mm -hmm. They sh then you can watch a, a 3D graphic of the plane as it goes up and down and mm -hmm. porpoises back and forth. You hear the radio transmissions mm -hmm. from the, the real pilots and then the terrorist pilots once they okay. took over. Yeah. The phone calls made from family Oh, yes. And there. you can listen to, you oh, can listen to the phone calls. Yeah. And tough. it's very, very tough. Yeah. And we went shortly after the... 20-year anniversary of September 11th. Like so. September 14th, maybe, I think, or 15th, we were there, so. Mm. Um, just such a tragic day. Yeah. But what they've done with the memorial there is pretty fantastic. So the upper part, you go through the museum part and go through the, what we just talked about, and you can walk out onto a, a balcony and you look straight down the line of the path, basically, that the aircraft traveled in that last half mile or so mm -hmm. and then where it crashed there's a big rock out there in the, in the grass now then you can drive down to the lower part which was the original flight 93 memorial piece mm -hmm. until they finished the upper part mm -hmm. and it's a long wall that keeps you out of the out of the grass and you walk along the very long wall and you get to the very end it's, it's a memorial wall with their names inscribed mm -hmm. and you can look out through this fence um, and you can see where the plane crashed it is, I told Blair walking back, I said, I don't know who they hire to do these artistic things in these parts, but man, they do. They do a amazing fantastic work. job. Amazing work. And the work. symbolism behind every single piece yes. that is involved in making this memorial. Is... Yes. It's all, I mean, it's inspiring. Yeah. It's it's wonderfully inspiring and I think a wonderful tribute to those lives mm -hmm. lost that day. And I, I you know. I believe wholly in my heart that the, those brave men and women on that plane that day saved thousands Countless of other lives because where that plane was headed, we don't even know right. whether it was the White House or the Capitol or somewhere else. But right. I believe those those brave souls saved saved many others. Yeah. Then we got back on the highway and drove down to West Virginia to a place called Harper's Ferry. Mm -hmm. So Harper's Ferry is a crossroads of Maryland, West Virginia and Virginia. Yeah. It's a it's at a three three rivers converged together right there on one spot. Mm -hmm. We'd been there a year and a half ago maybe, mm -hmm. uh, but the town 
is built on a mountainside. The town itself, the lower portion of the town, is a national park, mm -hmm. and they have recreated the kind of town um, to to look what it looked like. They, they dress in period clothing, and you can get period food and all those kind of things at the last, you know, the bottom bottom part of the town. Yeah, a neat place to visit. It if is you, a very neat you know, place to visit. If you've never been. Yep. There's a KOA that you can really walk from downtown oh, yeah. to the KOA by one of the main battlefields. Oh, yeah. It can't happen again. At the stop sign, turn left onto Shoreline Drive, then turn left onto William L. Wilson Freeway. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, Blair? <laughs> the Walmart Super Center. <laughs> then we had a wedding to attend in Leesburg, Virginia. Which was... A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Had a good time. Yeah. And um, nice to get dressed up and see some loved ones and see some people we haven't seen in a while yeah. and share in the joy and the celebration of the nuptials. Yep. We were unable to stay at the vineyard that the wedding was being held at, so we stayed at a harvest house called Quattro Goombas. Um, but it was a great location, level lot, large. We ended up staying two nights. Yep. Um, they have a pretty good beer selection, craft beer, as well as wine, and a pizzeria. Mm. And, oh my god, it smells so good. Oh yeah. Felt the rain on my skin. We're at a harvest house called Quattro Goombas, and grabbed ourselves a bottle of a red blend wine. They have a brewery here as well and a pizza kitchen, and I got myself a very pretty looking wine slushy. <gasps> very good, I approve. We drove into DC because we were close enough to go to it and we had some time to kill that afternoon. Uh, really just walked around. So we, neither one of us have been to the African American Museum, but we couldn't get tickets to get in. Um, so we, we didn't get to tour it, unfortunately. We did get to see the outside, but outside on, you know, I think it's 20 acres of the lawn there now mm -hmm. is little white flags from those who have died of COVID. And it is shocking to see mm -hmm. the number of flags out there. It's, it's a, to me, it's like a miniature version of Arlington Cemetery and mm -hmm. all the headstones just mm -hmm. laid out across the way. But these little white flags that people have walked by and you can write a note to or write about someone who's been affected by COVID in your life mm -hmm. and plant their flag out there. So that's yeah. that's in DC right now, which is pretty neat. Uh, and then we went south. South. Southwest to West. Charlottesville, Virginia. Yes. We stayed in a um, Costco parking lot for a night. <laughs> and the next morning we were picked up by the... Monticello Country Ballooning. Yep, and we took off on a hot air balloon yes. through the Shenandoah Valley, and it is gorgeous. Oh, I would, I would do it every day. Yes. I would take that balloon to work every morning just to experience yes. that every day. It was gorgeous. Hi, adventurers. We have just finished a balloon flight with Monticello Country Ballooning. Mm -hmm. uh, you can probably see them over there still talking, but Mandy and Dave. So we met Dave and his wife, Sherry, camping some months back and he said I'm a hot air balloon pilot you guys On should come weekends. over and check it out so here we are yeah uh, super wonderful time and it reminds me of my old job of flying around on helicopters because I get a you know 500 foot to a thousand foot view of the, everywhere we are and such a peaceful experience except for when the it's louder than you expect it yeah to but be. I like it because it gives us heat <laughs> yes it was, so I'm like can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> How's your balloon for that? Uh, <laughs> <Incredible>. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So I th that's both of our time, both of our first time flying in a mm -hmm. balloon. Uh, but it's beautiful, beautiful country, and uh, the Appalachian Appalachian Mountains are yeah. gorgeous, and <laughs> this area is gorgeous anyway. So. Yeah, it is. Mandy and Dave, yeah. awesome pilots. Yeah. Been doing it for, I think Mandy's been doing it for 20, 25 years. Long time. Yeah.
So they have a little chase crew who finds you wherever you're going to be landing for the day and you yep. land in the field and uh, help put the balloon up, put the balloon down, put it back in the trailer and move on about the day. So, yeah. And then we just celebrated with some champagne mimosas. Yeah, champagne and, toast. Uh, yeah. Historical tribute yeah. to ballooning. It absolutely is. The first means of air travel. Yeah. Really cool. So yeah. we enjoyed it. And um, if you have an opportunity and you're through or near the Charlottesville, Virginia area, yeah. please look them up and uh, stop by and get some get some air time. With yeah. Them. So it's pretty great. Incredible. They're booked out a good six or eight weeks in advance. So yeah. um, the random to, cancellations every now and then. But you have to you plan have, your visit. Yes. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. So, I would do it again today. Now. <laughs> they do sunrise and sunset um, ballooning. So yes. you get to see the sun. You take off right after the sun comes up and you land. I mean, if you do the evening one, I assume it's right. Land right by the sunset. Yeah. So that's the less winds in the day and beautiful views. Absolutely beautiful views. So. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening, Blair? We turned on the heat. Got my own wind tunnel. You feeling the heat from the kitchen? It feels fabulous. <laughs> I'm like a a cat bathing in the sun right now. It's nice. Then we went back, got in the trailer, hooked it up, and drove south to South Carolina. So we passed through. Lexington, Virginia. Uh, I used to work at a school there, Virginia Military Institute. We stopped in town there for just a moment and then we made it on just passing through and made our way south to, oh, there's a KOA. It's somewhere down right where 81 and 64 split. I don't know the name of this KOA, but we pulled in there to, to dump our tanks. All we want to do is dump our tanks. $25. Yeah. And it's a little bit off the beaten path too. It ain't you navigate yes. through a couple neighborhood streets to get there. Twenty-five dollars. It's only thirty-five to stay the night. Yeah, that's true. So we we kept going. By yeah. the way, uh, we pulled in and we stayed at uh, a harvest host called my sister's house. We parked <laughs> in her driveway. <laughs> uh, we were there for a couple of days uh, yeah. before our next adventure. And um, great spot, level yeah. lot. <laughs> yes. Good company. <laughs> Comes with fresh coffee in the morning. 10 out of 10 would poop there again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And kind of a whirlwind trip there. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then we had a couple days at her house relaxing, hanging out, re resting, refitting, and cleaning, and uh, other things like that before we got back on the road for the next adventure. Yep. And that will be our time at Paris Island, South Carolina, the United States Marine Corps Recruit Depot for the Eastern Recruiting Region. Mm -hmm. And there I was honored to participate in a ceremony at the, for the graduation and conduct my retirement from the Marine Corps. So that'll be our next video. And uh, thank you all for joining. Again, we love you and we appreciate you making us part of your day. So week six, in the books, five? Six? I don't know. I think we're on six. It's long. Long. And it's getting dark. Very dark. We gotta go find a puppy. <laughs> I don't even know if we can see us on this camera. I don't know either. But we'll find out. All right, love you all. Thanks. <laughs>